All right, Persis. If you could just uh, read the middle line on the chart up there for me, please. Okay. Um. A, a C. Um. A, a D. Um. An E. Great. I'm really messing up this test. That's okay, Persis. Don't worry about it. Oh man, I don't believe this. What did I do to deserve glasses? Stop staring at the computer, you'll ruin your eyes. Eat your carrots, they're good for your eyes. Turn on a light before you go blind. So if I'd listened to these warnings in the past, would I need glasses now? Not exactly. Take computers, for instance. We've all been in this situation. After spending a few hours in front of this thing, your eyes are swollen, sore, and itchy. You have trouble focusing, you get a headache. If you're like most people, you figure working here day in and day out can't be good for your eyes. But does staring at this really lead to wearing these? Well, the answer has to do with the way your eyes focus. Ever notice that you can focus on something in the distance or something close up, but not both at the same time? The same goes for a camera. To get from one to the other, you have to adjust the camera's lens. Well, the eye also has a lens that needs adjusting. To change focus, the lens inside your eye changes shape. To focus on distant objects, it flattens. To focus on close objects, it bulges. Your lens is like this cushion. To make it bulge requires muscle power. When you look at something close, the muscles surrounding the lens contract and cause the lens to bulge. When you look at something far away, the muscles relax and the lens flattens. Focusing on different objects is like lifting weights. Your lens muscles are constantly contracting and relaxing, contracting and relaxing. But when you stare at a computer screen for a long time, it's like you remain in this position. Imagine staying like this for several hours. Your lens muscles are no different than your arm muscles. They're going to get sore. It doesn't mean you need glasses. It just means you need to take a break. watching TV without any of the room lights on. I was always told as a kid not to do this. Can this really harm your eyes? As the program you're watching changes from scene to scene, the brightness of the picture changes. Your eyes have to compensate for that. The iris, that colored part of your eye, is actually a muscle. It controls the opening that lets light into your eye. For the modern era. When the picture on the TV is dark, the opening in your eye expands to let more light in. When the picture is bright, the opening contracts, letting less light in. Your poor iris has to constantly adjust back and forth. It'll get tired and sore just like any other muscle, but it's not the reason you need glasses. Eat your carrots. They're good for your eyes. How many times have you heard that one? Personally, I don't like them, and I don't eat them. But is this why I need glasses? The answer can be found on the back of your eyes. This area, known as the retina, is lined with millions of light-sensitive cells. Some of the cells are shaped like rods, and some are shaped like cones. The cones are more sensitive to color, but don't work in dim light. When it gets dark, you see mostly with your rods, which are more sensitive to light, but can't detect color. For rods and cones to work, you need vitamin A. Without vitamin A, they shrivel and die. No rods and cones, no vision. 